Okay, so I did that. Uh, these are my three gatherer people from now on. Chopper, Miner, and Taker. Great names, I know. Anyway, so we'll just put everybody back wherever they were. These characters are mostly just for gathering. A couple of them died in the on the second uh, stratum, but most of them are decently leveled now. I think it was mostly Chopper that survived mostly. And you can just see where I'm just focusing all those points in. I don't really need five different characters just maxing out these things. I would... Th I think it maxes out at 30 any 30 anyways. And I would run out of inventory space well before that point anyway, so... It's better just to focus on one thing at a time. Anyways... Now I got a bunch of stuff that I just need to sell. Since I went my since I went onto the last floor, floor of the second stratum, floor ten, and just get grabbed a bunch of stuff. Oh right, right, right. Before I do that, actually, I can actually accept uh, one of these quests. Got that one. All the items that can be mined. Yes, I got that. All right, good. I was hoping someone would. Merchant Ian wants you to bring back samples of everything you can find mine on the tenth floor. You've been there before. Be careful about your map. It should be easy. Good luck. Report. Got ice mist. Briefly, lessons. I eh, it's not useful. I'll just dump it. Might have sold for a while, but but I don't really care. All right, fossil and thin shell. Everything you can mine on the tenth floor. All right, I'll make sure to deliver it to the client. Thanks for your hard work. That was it. I wish one I could get experience points for doing those. Oh, whatever. That doesn't happen until the later games anyways. Oops. Now I can sell the junk. Because I got some cro I got two cross seeds in the process, because they're a very low drop, unfortunately. And thankfully, as I learned, uh, even if your survivalists are dead, they can still mi they can still give you the mining points and all that stuff. So I brought them down when they were just level one. A couple of them gained some levels in the process. All I just needed was like two strong party members just to keep uh, just to go through. Okay, so that's all this junk. So we got blaze freeze and shock oils. The downside is you could only buy one per cross seed you've sold off. That kind of sucks. But I will be making good use of that. As those are very good for bosses, because from what I understand that uh, that effect lasts until the character dies. And it's just extra damage to add on. I don't remember if it applies on to skills, though. I know it applies on normal physical attacks. Alright, first things first, warp wire, because I keep forgetting to buy that shit. Okay, so. What we need is freeze oil. Why really expensive? Two would be fine. Yep, you can only buy it. Yep. One, of, one for each one you get, so two freeze oil should be fine for the moment. I'll probably be using both of them on the boss anyways. Nothing really else here. I ended up having to use one of my Nectars, because I wanted someone to gain some levels, so we can actually start buying those here. Nectars are only 500. As you can see, that's not much of an issue anymore. Just buy two. Zerka bees and stuff are a lot more useful anyways, due to the fact of... Hey, I don't have to learn... Yeah, uh, so Reka does learn a skill that, gets, that heals status ailments, but it's like, level based. So, like, it won't heal petrification until it's, like, level 9 or something. Whereas this just heals all of it, and anybody can use it. And pr it will probably go off faster anyways. And I think hers is only single target anyways. <laughs> Maybe it's the whole party, I don't know, but this is better. Okay. I think we are ready for a boss. Probably. Alright, let's save up. Because there's always a chance I might die. Alright, I have a good idea of how to go about it. Switch to axe first. I mean, having the AoE would also help. It's one of those kind of hard to tell which one will actually help more because considering how I'm going to have to fight like three or four ants after I kill the boss anyways. One of them being an FOE.
Assuming more FOAs don't join the fight, because that would be real bad. Okay. I'll just go in through here. I don't think I can get attacked by a random battles while I'm in here. Okay, good. <sighs> okay. I don't even know why I'm bothering to even check this, because I already know what I'm doing. Okay. Boom. Royal Ant. Free oh. Oh, that's good. That's super good. Okay. Alright, smite her. Wait, no. Wait. Freeze oil. Okay, okay, freeze oil can be used on anybody. That's good to know. Well, the first turn be you guys using freeze oil on yourselves. You can use flame. She's not immune to that type of shit. Um, you can use immunitize without much of any issues. You cast a polygon. Need to remember to cast it again on turn five or so. Yep, and now all the ants are angry. Time to smite her. I don't know if this is going to add the elemental damage on these skills, but it's better than nothing, I guess. Owie! Oh, right, blind. I forgot she could do that. And here we go, blood ants. Okay. Still focus on the boss, ignore that thing as much as possible. Turn four, we're still in the good zone right now. And another blood ant, that's even worse. You guess Thor. And hopefully not miss. Tr trickery. Yeah. To help. A little. Oh, that hurts so much. Another? No! Do not like! She's useless at this point and is just gonna waste the MP. Um. Oh, I don't have any, do I? I don't have any Therica Bees. Great. Okay. Just keep using Flame for now. I'll figure it out later. Wait, how many of these are there FOEs, actually, now that I think about it? Blood Ant, Blood Ant, they all are. Okay, the queen's dead. Now it's just clean up duty. Oh, she's not blinded anymore. Thank God. That's good. Okay, and they should be doing ice damage too, so. That should 
help cleaning up. Pretty much the reason why I grabbed that in to begin with. Let's see, I guess I'm turn I should be fine for another turn, I think. Another summoning death ants to help out, so we need to take out the blood ants as fast as possible. Yep, okay. So that only applies to physical, normal physical attacks. Good to know. Okay. Gotta immunitize again, and hopefully not nobody will die. This fight went way easier than I was expecting. I had so much trouble before. I mean, I might have been under-leveled. Honestly, I might be over-leveled to be Well, maybe not. Who knows? Yay, Royal Ant. Dead! Nope. Probably, yep. Hmm, the game didn't tell me that I explored enough of this floor, has it? Oh, see, now it does! Thank you. You traverse every corner of this map and create an excellent map. Rada Hall will be quite pleased to see your handiwork. When you're done mapping 11th floor, well, return to the Rada Hall to show the result. Uh, return to the floor, blah, 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 yeah. Okay, stairs. Okay, this Ant Queen will come back in two weeks. So, you know. Don't waste too much time in this labyrinth. <laughs> Downstairs! I'm not gonna explore very much, I'm just gonna get a quick look. I know there's a fountain down here somewhere. That's nice too. Wait, that's. Oops. No! Up. There we go. Did you take your? I did see it pop up a thing right there. So, you take your first step into a new floor. You suddenly remember you were given a mission to complete. It's best to return immediately. Oh, you're not letting me walk forward, even though I wanted to take a quick look. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, time to run away. Damn it! I didn't find that other thing, and I know it should be. I don't know where it would be offhand. Right, let's sell this junk I picked up from for her. Ant's jaw, steel bone. Ant's jaw. Oh, katana, huh? Well, I have no use for that. What a shame. Ah, oh, the Kurohana Guild. I knew I could count on you. Thank you for your hard work. I ponder as of late the resistance for the Labyrinth's ex existence. The mysterious creatures, that bizarre structure that seems to have no bottom. Do you suppose the Labyrinth formed naturally? I can't help but think that there's a secret behind it. Personally, I believe, believe the secret, whatever it may be, would greatly benefit Etria. However, the Chieftain, he takes a different view. He's a man of few words, but he is unequivocal at understanding the mystery is best left alone. Why would he be set against investigation of the forest past this point? But I forget myself, I shouldn't speak to you of such things. Thus, like these are let best kept private. In any event, your map will be a boon to our research of the third stratum. We'd like to present you this with a token of appreciation. 5,000, nice. While you're here, there's not something else I wanted to bring up. The soldiers we sent to collect data on the layout of the third stratum, they did a terrible job. The report seeing unknown life deep within the labyrinth. A race of creatures that look almost human, yet distinct from us in a variety of ways. If they speak true, it would be one of the greatest discoveries we have ma yet made. Could we ask that you proceed deeper into the force and investigate the matter? Y 
Except then. Very good, now let me give you the details. As I mentioned earlier, there's a strange creature in the third stratum that we are unable to reach. They seem to be a humanoid life form native to the forest. We may need to deal with them. For now, we're discussing how to best handle them with the chieftain. In the meantime, we want you to investigate the life form and report back with the details. But beware, for there are no there's no knowing if the life form will be a friend or foe to humans. Alright, good. Alright, we already grabbed all the important stuff. And that, why not? I know different enemies come out day and night, I don't know which ones offhand. <laughs> I don't think it's that terribly important. Oh, I might be able to get more quests now, too. So I do need to figure out exactly where I need to go for, um, which one is this one? I know there's- I'm missing at least one more thing for that. Okay. Uh, Lady Knight wishes, uh, for someone to find the precious pearl she lost to the large horned monster in the forest. Adventurers seek to cause the rising occurrence of ferocious ant attacks on B12. Maybe later, I don't want... no. No ants. I'm also getting a... I'm getting a flute for that, which does not help me in any way, shape, or form at this point. Uh, 2000 N... Hmm. I'll hold off on those for now, I don't need to do them right away. Alright. Save again. I forgot to buy the wire again, didn't I? I even have it in my notes to remember to buy the wire, and I keep forgetting to buy the wire. <laughs> like, I have it in capital letters, too. Damn it. I just keep forgetting. There. Warp wire. I was hoping that pushing cancel would just immediately make me go all the way down here. Try this again. We're about to go to the next floor. Frog. I can kill these guys easily enough that I might be able to start that, I, that if need be I can grind on them. Okay. Nothing does attack me in there. Okay, so here we go. So I remember this side takes me close to the stairs to the next floor. Not right next to it, but pretty close-ish. Okay, so we have waterways. Unfortunately, there's no different colors for this thing, so I can't mark water the way I want, so I have to mark it as a wall. Which just bothers me, in general. That's just how that goes. Went bother, well, bother that this thing doesn't act automatically follow. Uh, I think there's a spring on this side. I remember there being a spring pretty close to the stairs. So let's go this way. Oh, I can see it. Well, I don't make this too damn confusing. For later. All 
Oh, it looks like I just go this way, or I have to go down there. She, she's mapping that is messing with my mind. <laughs> I see the stairs. They are like right here ish. Okay, Medica 3, cool, whatever. Ah, bats. Of course, I forgot to switch back. Not that much of a surprise. I, bats, I think, are weak to lightning, probably. Assumption. At this point, Hexfrog is a bit more threatening. Okay, they have a decent amount of health, don't they? Experience points compared to what I was fighting before. Oh, a spooky thing. A Mariana. That's just a tree frog, so, uh. Oh, I forgot to switch the. I forgot to switch the weapon again. Oof. That hurts a bit. shortcut right here. Good to know. Thought it was weird that I could still see check on there. Okay, let's see. Should be checking down here too. Oh, 
Ah, fair. I got the first attack, so... Once again, I forgot to switch the weapon back, but I think I'm fine at this point. Resistant to fire, okay. Everything here seems to be resistant against fire. Except for the boss. Okay, fey, fey. Okay, what we got? Uh, let's see. I believe I was still going with Crush. Yeah, I get Crush up to 10. But in the meantime, since I'm not fighting anything like that, let's go back to my sword so I can have all slash. on the simple way of marking this. That way I don't overcomplicate my map. In the depths of the forest, you suddenly catch a glimpse of someone's shadow. From its place in a nearby brush, it closely watches your every move. Who would be there, this deep in the labyrinth? Rent, uh, Takalfa, <laughs> perhaps? But they're usually more direct, never hiding themselves in the shadow like this. You mentally debate over whether to approach the shadow or pay it no heed. You take a tenuous step towards the shadow, but it instantly withdraws into the trees. You resolve to keep an eye out for the unknown shadow from now on in your travels. I think I rem right, there's a... Okay. There's like FOEs in the water, I remember that now. But they only come out if you're fighting something next to the water. They only come out like after turn or so. Hmm. If it was coming out, it would have done so already. Oops. I actually wanted to attack the other one, but oh well. Whatever. Ah, no! That would have been a better idea. Okay, so I guess there wasn't one over here. Oh, no, there he is. It's gonna immediately go right back into the water. Okay. They have specific spawn points, is the thing. So it spawns right there. I'm gonna mark that. Because these things are kind of a pain in the ass if you actually want to fight them. Because it's going to. Yep, go immediately go away. Basically, anytime I fight a monster in this area, it'll sh immediately show up right here. So if I don't want to fight it, I mean, I don't have to worry about it. It's a giant crab. I forget what they're weak to. Probably lightning. My experience, the crabs are too. Ooh. Meltworm, okay. That thing's weak to fire, if I remember correctly. Well, it's weak to pretty much everything, so... Except... Goo and carapace. Oops, no, 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 not there. Okay, um. 
once again I miss colors. Miss my brush having multiple color options. Makes drawing these things less annoying looking. any shortcuts going back up there. I'm pretty sure there aren't any. Just making sure there wasn't a shortcut on both sides of the stairs without me noticing. Okay, preemptive attack, that's cool. I should have hit level 10 by the time I hit the hit the boss. I actually think I might be going the direction I'm supposed to go in. <laughs> Bats. Oh, slash. Ah! They, they like attacking the back row. Damn 
Of course! Now she's behind now she's a little bit behind again. That sucks. That was just bad luck right there. How much does cure even? That was I'm better off just using salves. Cure is kinda of worthless at this point now. Is that the bottom of the map? No. Okay, so there might be something down here. Maybe, possibly. That cool. Okay, so now I know I do absolutely do not like the bats whatsoever. You're mean. So the bats focus fire on the back row. Now <laughs> they see that. That's kind of that's rude. Coming back for them later. Alright, I'm not gonna be able to get to it in time because it's just gonna immediately back up and then and try to basically yell out speed me. Ooh, there's one in front of me too. I'm not a good judge of how many squares ahead that is. But it immediately fucked off. Was that one there or eh, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. I'll figure it out later. It's not like I'm actively hunting them right now, anyways. Ah, oh, I should have gone that way. Damn. Whatever, I'll take care of it later. I see, I see. I marked that wrong. Looks like two squares big. Estimation, that's kind of what that looks like. Okay. Hmm. 
Well, this one's just a beefier version of the other one. And... It looks like I'm coming up to the shortcut. So I can get my TP back. Prioritize that first. That leads to the treasure chest. Leads to the shortcut, probably. That leads. Does it even lead to anything? No. I'm gonna prioritize getting that. getting healed real quick. Hit up that heal spot. Awesome. All right, back to where we were. Hello. Might as well. I mean, 30 damage is not going to help too much. That's not to just wait, waste the TP on that. Especially since I probably outspeed it anyways. I haven't found any gathering spots here now that I think about it. Huh. Alright, let's go back for that treasure. I hate wood bats. Really hate them. Oh, they just randomly decide what they want to do. Whatever. They can just attack whoever they want. Points into anti cold. Those anti skills are pretty much going to be the stuff he's going to be putting points into for the next several levels. For quite a while, basically, until he gets all of them maxed out, there's no point in putting any more points into anything else. Considering how those are the top priority to keep my party alive during boss fights. Even more so when it's dragon time. Raven, too. Eh. It's alright. And I know there's that other treasure chest back there. I'll try to figure out a good way of getting that at some point. Okay. 
Alright, let's make sure. Alright, just making sure. You never know when there's an event on some of these things. Though it seems that events kind of drop off after a while. Oh, I remember Mucktiles. The cro the big crocodile things. Those are in this area, aren't they? Yep. I did remember this place somewhat. Like it it was just a case of just absolutely suddenly I remembered something was very very bad about this spot. I don't think I had to fight any. I forget exactly how the pattern on these things work. I think you have to get them to chase you? Otherwise they just stand still? Hmm. Honestly, I do not remember whatsoever. Yeah, one of those is like standing right in the right spot. Are they chasing after me? It's so hard to tell. But they're red FOE, so I shouldn't be fighting them. That's like a very, very, very bad idea. <laughs> Rekka leveled up. Do Rekka Rekka. More power. Might as well heal up while I'm right over here. <sighs> okay. I think I'm getting a general gist of this room's layout. Okay, that spooked me for a second. I thought one of them moved on to me. Wait, was it really as easy as just going or going along the long, long way? Because looking at the map. No, I'm not looking at the map wrong at all. Oh. Huh. Yeah, it looks like that they're 
judging from what it looks like, it looks like there's one in each of these spots. And it looks like they just stand there. Hmm. Huh. Okay, cool. Now, I remember this floor specifically. I remember how this one goes down. This one's, uh, yeah, this one. Okay. So, what is this, you might ask? I might as well mark that, too. Okay. So, we are now in the teleport maze, basically. <laughs> well, there's, it's not complicated. They only go, except for the ones that are, like, right on the island that I'm currently on, they all go in a, di a straight direction, so they're not that difficult to figure out. Wait, why am I, why did I mark that? Because these are, like, gigantic bodies of water. You can see another one down there. I'm gonna try to map out this area. Bef yeah, those are more muck dials. I remember that. I, re I remember that island. There's multiple treasure chests on it, and two dot muck dials that'll just wreck my shit if I try to go on there. Also, for some also the encounter rate on that island is very very high, so so it's uh, hard to avoid them even if you are doing that. Oh hey. Gather spot. Chop chop. I'll have to bring a, a chopper person down here. Chopper. That was the name of my chop person anyways. <laughs> Might as well grab what I can. Bug nest. Oh, nothing, of course. I think the mining... One of them down here gives me... I think most of the mining spots are actually... Most of the spots are actually on this floor, too. I believe, one of them gets me the thing that lets me unlock... Um, the Nectar 2. So I can actually start stocking up on those. Oh, sorter. Oh, no! I don't like that. Oh. Heavy physical resistance, okay. This guy's a dick. Okay. Bow seem to do fine damage against it. Something to keep in mind. Okay, anyways. I don't remember where they all take me to, but it's important to note that there's three. Oh, four, actually. Okay, more than I thought. already down here, we might as well see where this one takes me first. I don't want to fight the sword one, he's a jerk. Blame him.
I don't remember, but I think the one FOEs are also on this floor. The ones that come from the water. Okay. That'll take me back to the one I just came from. Was that a straight direction? It was, actually. I know one of them kind of circles around for, and hits one of the other ones, so technically there's only, like, two spots over there. I think it's not too hard to figure out exactly where these take you. Especially once you get the map fully figured out. This one first. Crab. Slash is not going to help. That these things tend to not have. They tend to have very, very high uh, physical resistance. So we'll try to get rid of this thing first. Ow! that again. Let's hold off for one more turn. Okay, fade and level up. There's absolutely nothing on this island. Oh, wait. I walked right past it. Chop. Oh, I already did chop. Well, I know these spots have different things on them, so... With different drop rates. So, uh, that... Okay. That's cool, I guess. Whatever. Hmm. Ah! A vamp bat. There's one right there. Hi! Let's try it! I better not. I'm gonna be very sad if I die from this. I mean, there's a very... I went into this fight completely unprepared now that I think about it. I'm a dummy. I guess that won't take much for damage. I'll probably be running back to town immediately after this.
Uh, this is sad. <laughs> TP. Red Blade. Never been worth it. Okay. I'm only exploring until I get close to another random fight, anyways. That way I can get as much of the map explored as I can. Oh, that was a one way. Oh no. I forgot that some of these were one way. Uh, that should take me right back to the beginning. Possibly. Yep. Well, let's get out of here. At least got a little bit of this floor. I know there's still a pretty good amount left. I got a lot of supplies anyways. I'm at 54 of 60, so... Before I do that, um, made from Moriana nests. Okay, Mercenary now requires a sample of each tree that can be chopped. I don't have all three of those, but I can do that later. I think I can do this right now. All right, Jackson Restaurant. Once you break call on the ground by using bug nests in his new recipe, I think I heard a patron that, saying that you can get them from Moriana's for 14th. Three, he should be set. Oh. Did I get three? No. Probably only have like one. I can always get more later. No problem. They come from chopping too. So I'll just sell them for now and see what type of gear I can get from that stuff. There we go. Red blade. What do we get? Nothing. I mean, I might need more than one red blade, or I might need something else to go along with it. So we got a couple things, at least. Gum Aspis. Okay, new shield. Claymore. New, sh new sword. Gold chimes can be nice for the most part, since they prevent random battles from... Or lower random battle rate for a while. Hunter bow. Yay, okay, bye. So what did we all get? Surcoat, 16 for everybody. 16 for almost everybody. <laughs> okay. Um, seven with volt resistance for a couple of my party members. I mean, volt resistance is, I don't think that's really useful in any of these floors right now. Defense four, I don't think any of these are actually helpful. I think most other stuff. I mean, this. Oh, that's 10. Was the other one lower than that? And 16 defense. I mean, agility minus 2, but that doesn't mean much of anything. 17. 
I mean, eight, but they're in the back row, so that's not that big of a deal. And if with Vimir dies, I don't, that really doesn't make much of a difference either. <laughs> Nope, none of this stuff is worth it. Good. Accessories, I didn't find any. Weapons, Claymore, 78 and 75. Okay. So I need two of those. Yep. Okay. Well, at least weapons are fine. Forget. Yeah, a decrease is running in battles. That could be useful in situations. Good. Uh, yeah, Nat, why not? Doesn't really matter which one. <laughs> 